Hey everyone, Kume here, and today I thought I would play some Sanctum. Sanctum, uh, in case you don't know, is a tower defense game, uh, and also a first-person shooter, so an interesting combination, and it's quite fun. Uh, I've been playing a bit, going through. Uh, I've made it to to slums. I've, I've made it to the slums, which is a, a great place to be, uh, just before the Yox Cave, which is a a better place to be, I, I would think. Um, and I'm, I'm not very good. Uh, I've pretty much just scraped by on all these levels, uh, barely, for, for the most part. Um, but I thought I would uh, give this one a try and uh, see what we uh, see what we make of it. Uh, and I was... Uh, oh, that's nice. Oh, here we go. Uh, I played this one a little a little bit earlier. I, I didn't really play. I just... I just uh, I just loaded the map and kind of walked through it, and uh, wow, yeah, it's a it's a doozy. It's it's got a whole bunch of these little teleporter things here, uh, so we'll have to walk through that and kind of see where we're gonna place things. Uh, anyways, so beginning of each level, you can pick your loadout, uh, both your weapons for your for your person here, your lovely person here, uh, weapon options, assault rifle, sniper, uh, rocket launcher, shotgun, freezing gun. Test the coil gun, all that, all that kind of stuff. I, I usually take these three. Um, always the sniper rifle, because I use this one a lot. I'm, I'm not really sure how you would play without the sniper rifle. Rifle? Rifle? Without the sniper rifle, honestly. Um, uh, and this is probably a, a big reason why I'm, I'm not that good at this game, is because I, I just use the one gun. Uh, yeah. And see, towers. Okay, so here are all your options for towers. Uh, you should uh, try the game and, and, and look through these. I, I won't go through all of them. Just the ones I kind of usually pick are, are these. Uh, again, it's probably smart to, uh, to customize what you're going to use uh, for each level as meeting the requirements of, of each level, uh, which I don't do. I just take the same ones I'm comfortable with uh, all the time. And uh, yeah. So, uh, Mortar. Uh, Good AOE, good explosives. I, I, I actually only just started using this one because I was having trouble with the swarm waves. Um, I used to have the Gatling gun, but I, I just find it's too underpowered. It, it doesn't do enough. So I switched to mortar. Um, and it seems to be working better for me. Uh, lightning gets you the good the good the good damage, the big the big shots on the on the big shots, uh, the big guys. Uh, scatter laser is, is good, uh, for, for for pretty much everything. Uh, it it shoots really fast, so it, it does okay on the swarms, um, but it also does okay damage on, on bigger guys, and it also targets air. Uh, and that's one thing. So there are there are ground enemies, uh, and there are air enemies, which we'll see in a bit. And not all the towers can target all the ground and, and all the air enemies. Some some only do ground, like the mortar and the lightning, uh, and some do both, like the scatter and the violator uh, here, which I'll also talk about here. And then, of course, anti-air is, is just anti-air, as the name would lead you to believe. Um, okay. Violator, uh, sniper rifle, basically. Uh, accelerator is a machine gun, uh, a bit, a bit like the Gatling gun, uh, but I find it just, it does more damage, uh, and just seems a little bit, uh, stronger overall. Uh, just, just ground targets for this one, though. Uh, and then anti-air, uh, you basically have to have these for the, for the swarms, uh, especially later on in the levels. They, they just, the spore pod, Flying guys get overwhelming if you don't if you don't have an anti-air. Uh, I find. Anyway, that's what I'm using. Uh, let's just get in the level here. Okay, so yeah, building phase. So first, uh, you get a, uh, Oh well, uh, apparently this 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 lady knows a lot about this uh, this this robot lady. So maybe I'll just let her her talk. Uh, no, okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, first, you start out building uh, a build mode, and then, and then you'll start the wave, and the enemies will come and, and kill you and and kill your your precious precious energy core thing. Actually, they won't kill you. Uh, you you can't really take damage if you if you run into an enemy in this game. It'll just kind of knock you off your feet for a second. Uh, but this is this is what they're they're aiming for. Uh, you got to protect that. that 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 big swirly blue thing. Uh, and, and why wouldn't you want to protect? I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. So this is this is cool. Um, these maps, they're all very nice looking, uh, futuristic, but also kind of got the uh, earthy quality to them as well. Often, 
city over here. Yeah. Uh, so yes, the ground enemies will come through that uh, that hole right there, and this is the path they're going to follow. Uh, the air enemies are going to come either side, up there. Uh, and so what you got to do, you build blocks, just like that, and, and you put the guns on top of those. Uh, so you can also go to a map view. So this shows you the whole the whole map. And you're going to want to build blocks in order to, to shape the path the enemies take. Make them take as long a path as possible, as twisty a path as possible, uh, all the while being being raked by, by gunfire and, and, and shot to pieces, exploded, uh, zapped zap with lightning, uh, and generally not having a very good day. So that's the idea. And on this map, it's quite, it's quite complicated because they have these teleporters. So if we uh, walk over to one of these suckers. It takes us up here. Uh, and there's a lot of these things. So I was, I was walking around earlier trying to figure out where they all lead. And um, I think the best way uh, is if we actually look at the map. And uh, I kind of numbered these platforms. Because you can see there's a platform here where they come in. Uh, another platform here. One here. Uh, and the little platform here that leads to the energy core. Uh, and there's a platform here, but they can't actually walk on that one, so I ignored that one for now. Uh, and the way I was I was thinking about it uh, is I numbered these. So this is this is platform one, two, three, four. If I'm if I'm feeling extra uh, spiffy today, I, I might put some numbers on these for you later. Um, and I was just trying to figure out, okay, where does this teleporter lead, and and these teleporters, which numbered platforms do they go to? Okay. So there's actually a teleporter here, here, here. These two lead up to platform three. So those, it's basically a direct connection between those two. Uh, this teleporter leads to platform two, so one to two. Uh, these two are also direct connections right to the ones below them, so two to four down there. And then four up to three, right there. Uh, and again, uh, two up to three, right there. So it, it's actually fairly straightforward. It just looks uh, much more confusing uh, when you first jump in. So, I was trying to figure out the, the longest way to make these guys go through all these little teleporters. Uh, and I had one, one idea, which is to make them kind of loop around uh, down here, but, but the w they don't give you much space to work with. Uh, and you have to have enough space, because you can't actually block the path. There has to be uh, a true path that they can follow all the way to the energy core. You can't just build a big freaking wall and say, take that suckers uh, which which seems like the best plan to me really uh, but no no we, we play fair here we play fair um, ooh, look at that yeah, what is that let's go let's go check that thing out um, so I think I, I worked out the best the best path, the best path, the best path uh, to use ooh, well there's a big ship up there so this is a uh, this must be some sort of energy anchor or Possibly matter transference beam, and maybe it's a it's a cupcake. It's a cupcake transference beam. It's it's restocking the cupcakes on, on the ship up there. So why don't we just uh, swing this thing around and aim it uh, at the aliens? And uh, you know, I think uh, all that's all they really want is they just they just want the cupcakes. Anyways, oops, uh, and I'm back. I got called away. Oops. From my computer for a minute there. Sorry about that. Uh, I was laying out the path. So right, one to three, three to one, one to two, and then this got a little complicated here because I kind of wanted to, to loop them through here, but again, there, there's just not much space uh, on that one. I think what I I, I ended up th trying trying to to work out. I think what I ended up doing is two up to three. And then three down to four, uh, and then four over to two. Yes, this is this is what I did. Yeah, two, four over to two, curling around here. Two back down to four, and and by the time the aliens uh, reach Anders core, they will be so dizzy they they will just want to sit down and, and take a breather. Um, oops, wrong button. Uh, which will be good because. Uh, 
because then we can just talk things through, uh, and and then I can shoot them with my sniper rifle uh, in the face. Okay, well that's that's I think enough strategy. Uh, and, and actually, it's probably too much strategy, really. Uh, you, you don't want to have too much strategy. If you, if you think about things too much, um, your brain hurts. So uh, let's just walk the path and and block it off as we go. So already this is this is going beautifully, uh, perfectly, really. I, I I don't think it could get any better. Let's uh, start. <laughs> and no, uh, let's let's not. Let's let's keep going. I, I don't think it's quite done yet. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm just blocking off the path here because we don't want him to go that way. We want him to go this way. Uh, and sometimes I try to make it a little more curly. Uh, they kind of have to curl around, put a block in the middle or something. Um, because some of the enemies actually, they, they, they speed up as they go down uh, straight paths. So it's good to, to make it more windy. Uh, but there's just, there's just not much space on this level. So we're just not going to worry about that at all. So they come down here. And, oh, it looks like... Yeah, there's there's no way to make him go back this this way, because as you see, uh, it's only one block wide, and he can't block the path. So we can just fill this in with blocks uh, and, and put tons of weapons, heavy heavy weaponry, on top of those blocks uh, for the anti-air, because that's you don't want to forget about about the air units, because they will ruin your day in, in a big way. Um, those those little flying assholes. Uh, and I, I luckily don't mean that literally, because that would be gross. Uh, but they come, they come this way, and they don't really follow. Uh, they won't follow this path, obviously, because they can fly. Uh, so why would they bother? Um, but they do sort of follow their own path, which you really uh, don't know about until they, they're already flying it. So, um, so it's best just to, to have good air coverage uh, when you can. Okay, so we come around this way, and uh, we want them to go through this, this one. So we're going to have to block this whole thing off. Good, I think. Yes. Now, that's obviously way too easy. So make them work a little more. We want them to get a really good, good view of this city that they're trying to um, destroy. Destroy? I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I'm not really sure what, what the aliens are about. Um... There's, there's no real story in this game, as, as far as I know. Uh, no, you can't. You can't sorry. Um, there's no real story. Uh, except that there are aliens uh, trying to get to your energy core. Uh, you are uh, a, a lady uh, who, who is defending the energy core for the sake of, of a bunch of, of guys. Um, I, I don't know what that says about, about anything. But, but here are the guys, actually. Here, here they are. They, they don't talk to you. They just talk to themselves. Um, yeah, they just expect you to do all the work while they stand around. Again, no sort of commentary there. Just, uh, just making an observation. And uh, let's keep building this wall. Perfect. Uh, and by perfect, I mean... Uh, it fits my plan perfectly. Uh, not to say it's a perfect plan, because I usually find uh, I come up with a, a pretty good layout. Uh, I start the level, and uh, by the last wave, I'm, I'm down to like 2% health on my core. Because, uh, again, not that good at this. So, let's see just how not that good I am. Um, so, of course, y you lay out your blocks. Uh, but then eventually you're going to actually want to um, put some weapons on those blocks. And the uh, nice thing is you can uh, teleport around the map uh, to get around really fast. And you can teleport also uh, to places where you put the Televator block, uh, which is what we're going to do right now. Um, oh. uh, I'm probably not going to bother putting one uh, here since we've got this teleporter right next to it. it. It would allow us to get up on these blocks, but honestly... It's it's a pretty short stretch. Uh, we can get in some good shots from here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's not bother with that. Let's just fill in. Uh, see that? It's quite stupid of me, actually. Um, bad, bad. Oh, uh, this what this is what happens when you die. You you just go back to the map. Um, good good for reference. Uh, is that if you you fall horribly to your death, uh, you don't actually die. Uh, ooh. ooh. Well, that was fun. Uh, pointless, but but fun, which is the best kind of fun. Uh, 
Can I get up here? No. Uh, I've actually missed a block, I think. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, this is why, I actually, I may... I may just go ahead and put it to elevator. Okay. We want to see. You guys want to see. I want to see what's going on down here. We want to see the whites of their eyes. Um, they, don't, they don't have whites in their eyes, actually. But we want to see those um, yellow, the yellows of their eyes, as they come through that, that hole there. Um, so we can... Uh, Point, point our sniper rifle right down at them. Good. 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 So you may wonder, well, if you can't build to block the path, then why are there uh, spots there? Well, there are there are land, uh, land. Yeah, land, land mine kind of things. Ones you can put on the floor. Fields, I guess they're called. Like a slow field, a zappy killer field. I don't know. Stuff like that. I, I sometimes use them, uh, but not usually. Let's see. Okay, guns. Uh -huh. Most important and perhaps most interesting bit. So you can kind of see, uh, not real great, but you can kind of see the, the range of the gun. It's that, that yellow gold flashing thing uh, when you hover over the block. Uh, if you hit the, hit the map key, you can actually get a much better idea. So so this gives gives good coverage uh, of this area. So let's go ahead and put an accelerator here. Let's put a lightning gun to greet them right as they come out. And what would be a good one for it for right here? Um, scatter. No. Lightning. Eh, let's go. Let's go with another uh, accelerator. These these are really good. Uh, just all around damage dealers for the ground for the ground units. Now scatter. It's good for the air. I actually... See, it says it's in range, but I'm not sure if you build it right here, whether it's in line of sight. That is one question I cannot answer. Because uh, it is a tower, so it's got a little bit of height. But, I mean, if, if I stand here, obviously, I, I cannot see the path. So I'm not really certain that uh, direct fire uh, guns can, can shoot from back here. Indirect fire, like a mortar can, obviously. Uh, and, and that's what we're going to put... Uh, here, I think. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm out of money, of course, because I'm. I have no concept of money. I just, I just spend it like crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we've got no, no air protection at the moment. But that's okay because you can see in the bottom right corner uh, what's coming next. And actually, if you go to the pause menu, uh, hitting escape, you can see the waves that are coming next. Uh, and, and most people who use good strategy uh, would look ahead and, and plan. Ah, here's your first flying wave. Is wave five. Uh, I usually don't do this because it's much funner to uh, fly by the seat of your pants. Okay, let's let's just get to the get to the kill in here. You hit enter, and oh my god, here they come! And look, the accelerators are already taking them out. Uh, I'm just gonna randomly pop a few shots in here. Wow, this is this is one of those swarm waves that the, a the AOE is there to cover. Now you'll notice they're all going straight through. Um, and, and that I have no guns further ahead. So basically, I'm screwed. I am completely boned. In, in every possible sense. Uh, unless I run out of these guys with my gun. And chase them all down. Like it's a personal vendetta. And, and shoot them right in the back. Uh, oh, oh, gosh. Come, 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 come. Oh. So yeah, this is, this is, this level's a bastard. Wow, okay. So, um, I think, I think what I'm learning here is this level, oh, 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 look at that, okay, so, oh, there are still enemies on the field, because I still have my gun out, uh, oh, there he is, uh, wow, 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 <laughs> so, perhaps the worst, um, the worst start to a map I've ever had, uh, I almost lost health on the very first wave, so, I think what we've learned, now, let me just teleport back and look at our beautiful setup here, is that, Having a massive kill zone right here, it just isn't going to work because there's just not enough time to actually kill very many um, guys as they come through. Which is a real shame because I like having big kill zone right at the front. Not going to work. Um, and it's a, it's a double shame because we have so much building space right here. I think we're just going to have to load this with, with anti-air. Put, put a couple here, of course, uh, to take out the ground guys as they come around here because that's actually a... Let's actually do that right now. Um, this is a good spot for accelerators. Accelerators, uh, they, they kind of, they shoot faster the longer they're, they're firing. So the, the more area they can cover, the better. 
Um, they're not good for short little bursts like this. I really should should maybe have put a lightning tower here. Because lightning just is very slow, but very powerful. So it's good for, for just those t little corners where you need an extra dose of damage. Okay. But this is this is tricky. This is tricky. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put a scatter. Scatter has, has good range. I might put some scatter. Yeah. Uh, but actually, oh wow, what am I doing? Um, but I, what I've learned is that you can't concentrate and kill them like this. I really need to spread out and have more towers all along the way, which I generally do uh, later on. I usually build up. But because there's just so little time and space down there, I really need to have more uh, towers spread out all along the way, right from the get-go. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm expanding my, 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 my tool set here. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a better player. And that's what these games are all about is learning as you go, uh, which usually involves dying and failing horribly, of course, many, many times. Hopefully uh, that won't happen here, but uh, we'll find out. Because this next wave are these guys who, who take no damage in the front, uh, but have a weak spot right there on the back. Oh yeah, all these all these aliens have a weak spot. It's the glowy bit, um, which really is kind of a design flaw. Whether you believe in, in evolution, I mean, whether you or, or, or believe in, in creation. Uh, either way, somebody made a major problem. Because, what the heck? That's just, that's just poor design. Um, but the accelerators are, are pretty good here. Um, because they've got a decent fire rate, and, and as the, the, the aliens go by, they peg them right in that, in that weak spot. So these guys aren't posing a major problem. I was having such trouble with those guys on an earlier level um, because I, I didn't have the accelerators I just had Gatling guns which which did do, do didn't do jack jack shit to those guys uh, and so they they overran me okay next we have um these, these weird little guys what are they what are they called um, this picture it always it always looks like he's holding a club there it's supposed to be him curled up on the ground because he's a blocker uh, but no, he's got a club. So these these are the club guys. Um, all right, you can also upgrade your weapons, uh, which I usually upgrade my sniper rifle quite a bit. Uh, but we really need to improve our defense network. What would be good here? Um, accelerator. Let's let's end this row with another lightning count. Uh, I really need to get some violators. Ooh, oh yeah. So we've got that whole platform right there. How the oh, oh that's right there steps. Amazing. Um, we've got this whole platform right here. Uh, it's just begging to have some long-range ordnance placed on it. Uh, <laughs> oops. And, and we will oblige. We will most certainly oblige. Um, actually, I might put another little televator here. Is this a good position? Um. Yeah, because, you know, I can snipe from up here. I love sniping so much. Um, yeah. I, I don't actually need to be able to reach that because I can I can teleport to it. So, this is perfect. This is this is great. Right here, sniper rifle. Um, well, okay, it's not great, actually. You can only have a tiny sliver, but he can see all, all this. Uh, and quite a bit over there. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead. Invest in one of these guys. Also good because it, it it'll it'll hit the air units too. And of course, uh, you can upgrade your towers um, just by selecting them and uh, clicking. Uh, but I'm not I'm not going to do that just yet because I think we need more coverage over the whole level. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Another one. Um, I'm feeling like uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get swarmed again. So mortars here. A mortar to cover that path. Uh, resources are low, but I'm ready to go. I will. I'm ready to go. These guys, these guards aren't so bad. Well, you know, none of the aliens are, are, are that bad to start. Uh, they get much, much worse later, um, because their hit points just keep going up. Where do they go now? Oh, they curl around. I forgot. So, so we've got we've got another kill zone right there. Wow, that was not bad. Oh, there's only 13 waves. Some of these, some of these maps have like 30 waves. Uh, they those can get really brutal. Um, 
In fact, this video is going to be incredibly long uh, because I'm very slow and I talk too much. Uh, I should just build and, and shut up and, and let you guys watch the slaughter. Uh, but no, I'm just going to talk and talk and talk. So let's um, let's let's just get going here. Um, also, very good information you can see uh, in the lower left there. It kind of summarizes how much damage each tower does. So you can you can really uh, see which are the best performers and uh, merit-based promotion system here. So this guy he's 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 killed 16 total, and he's done 12% of damage. He's he's a big earner. Now this one hasn't killed as much, but it's done more damage because it's a little earlier in the in the queue. Um, and wow, and the lightning tower. Oh. No. Yes. Yes, the lightning tower has done even more damage and, and killed even fewer. But that's all good. So these three are, are, are big big candidates uh, for promotion. So he's he's good. And, and so so she and, and she goes to So there you go. What do you say? I, I don't know. Um, let's see. Um anything else? Uh, I think we're gonna have in a couple waves some air. So I'm just going to put one down uh, to get myself ready. In, in case I forget later and, and the air comes and I'm like, oh, shiitake mushrooms, what did I do? Uh, so, yeah. It's good to plan ahead for your own ineptitude. Whoa, whoa. That was my idea. But apparently he's got a better angle than I do. Wow, he's, he's taking him out. I can't even see him. Yeah, it gives you a handy little thing in the top right to tell you... Um, how much better the computer is than you are, uh, which which is pretty much always the case, of course. Oh, that's, that's bad. Oh, did you see that mortar? It hit the tree. Oh, well, that is bad placement. Well, yeah, that's that's not good. That's because he's targeting him right as they come out, and obviously uh, there's a little lip there. Um, my tower got this. Nice, nice. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what we could do about that, though, because, uh, I don't think it's the placement of the mortar, it's just the fact that they come out. So we're just going to achieve it. Not sure what that one is. Uh, might find out later. Oh, flying. Okay, these are flying guys. Now, these guys just move really quickly. Uh, real pain in the ass. And, actually, the anti-air isn't as good against them. Uh, the direct targeting is. So these, these guys, right here, they'll be doing, they'll be they'll be handling this way for me. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just hang out here. Um, those guys will, will be helping too. Um, I might put a couple more here, because I don't know what path the flying guys are going to take. So it's it's best to just have good coverage all over the field. And I really should probably put some anti-air further, uh, deeper into the field, closer to the energy core, uh, in case some get through and I just need some air protection over there. But for now, I think this is probably going to be good enough. Uh, I've still got quite a bit of money. I'm going to upgrade my sniper rifle again. Um, Actually, I'm not. I'm, I'm really not doing much uh, this time. I'm usually really getting in there with my sniper rifle, but I'm, I'm kind of enjoying uh, enjoying just watching the slaughter from up here uh, for now. So maybe later I'll upgrade. Um, I don't know if I should upgrade that mortar because he's really, he's he's underperforming in my opinion. Uh, but since these these are, are good for targeting uh, air and ground, I'll upgrade them. Put another anti air in. I've got an extra spot there. Um... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's put another scatter later. So. Alright, we still have quite a bit of money, but let's just see how this goes. Where are you gonna come from? Come on, come on. Uh, ah, there they are. Sneaky little bastards. Oh, see how they move. That was, um, pro shooting. Pro shooting. I, I, I really, um, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go this whole level without actually hitting anything. Oh, um, okay, I'm just gonna fire a rocket. It, it might hit something, or, or like, like it just did it, it may hit nothing. Um, so I, I'm probably just gonna... Oh wow. If I keep, uh, keep shooting. Oh wow, here's one. Another swarm. Um, it's actually impressive that I'm missing at this point, because they're so, they're so closely clustered. I'm basically finding that the two centimeters between their wings. And, and firing straight through there. So really, if you think about it, I'm, I'm really um, doing really well. Uh, my towers, however, are not. Crap. I, I have not prepared well for this wave. As you can see, these the towers that I have are not doing enough damage. Um, uh, not doing enough, enough damage. Um, 
to these things. They're, they're making it way too far. Um, which is not good. That, this is really unacceptable. Oh, oh, where are you going? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, you saved my bacon there. Whew. You, you can, you can have my bacon now, because you saved it. Enjoy that bacon. It's good bacon. Um, so obviously, some flaws. Some flaws in, in this setup. <laughs> no surprise there, really. Um, biggest flaw right now is there's nothing, uh, in the last stretch. Uh, so there's no one there to, you know, make the, the game saving play. Because, I mean, you can't, you can't have someone make a game saving play if, if there's no one there. So, uh make it. Really, really profound statement, I know. Um, what the, heck, uh, what the heck am I doing? But, you know, uh, this video's been going on quite long. I'm, I may take a, a breather here, and, uh, and so maybe I'll see you again next time, and, and we can see if, if I actually survive, uh, or not. And apparently, uh, someone did make it through. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, I'm doing, I'm doing not so great. Um, but I haven't died, so actually, we'll take that as a small victory. Small victories are fine. We don't need big victories. Small, small ones are okay. They all count. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys uh, next time.